The problem this video is meant to address is a lack of illumination on this panel and the power indicator LEDs that straddle it. Please accept my apology for the quality of this video. I had no idea at the time I was doing this repair that I would make a video of it later. This is made from footage and photos I took for reference while doing the project. Remove the case top to reveal this main board. Check the impedance of this resistor, number 843. It will most likely be infinite. If so, replace. Very close to 10 ohms is good for this resistor. Right of center, at the bottom of the board, you will find five Zener diodes mounted on ceramic standoffs. See how the board scorched as the Zeners burned out? In this close-up, one Zener has been removed so you can see the damage done to the board. Also, where the removed zener would be, you can see a diagram indicating which end of the zener should bear the black band mark. Remember, zeners have polarity, and this band is used to indicate proper orientation of the zener for proper function. Also notice that the fourth zener is smaller in size than the other three. Look in the description for an in-depth testing process for these diodes. But honestly, it's just easier to replace all of them as you're going to have to remove them in order to test them anyway. Plus, they're cheap. For your reference, this is a copy of the packing list from Mauser Electronics. I purchased more than I needed of every component. The product description lists the voltage of each Zener to help you determine where to install them. I stood the unit on end and removed the bottom panel to make access to the Zeners and the resistor easier. Do not attempt to power the unit on after you've replaced the Zeners and the resistor. People smarter than myself tell me that this entire cascade of broken parts happens when the bulbs burn out. You don't want to turn the power back on until you have bulbs in place. Check the description for a link to a free copy of the JVC repair manual for this amplifier. Use the diagrams included in the manual to make sure that you are installing the proper new Zener in the proper position. The lamps mount on the opposite side of this clip-in fixture, which is connected to the rear of the front panel. They look just like fuses. The red blob in the image won't be inside your amplifier, as it was just a tool that I left lying around and managed to find its way into the shot. This is the invoice with part number for the lamps, which I picked up at a local electronic dealer. These images are taken from the service manual. If you'll notice on the left, it will show you the actual item number as it appears on the board itself. While the second column relates to JVC's part numbers, there is some useful information here. Highlighted in pink, you will find part number RD11EB3. That's simply an 11 volt zener. And farther down in blue, you will see RD5.1FB3. That's your 5.1 volt zeners. Please feel free to leave any questions in the comment section, and perhaps I can be of some service.